someone said, how about we just put solar panels on the school? And then everyone started laughing, and we said, oh, no, that's never going to happen. And then you walked over and said, hey, you could do it, dream big. And then we all were like, yeah, we could do it. And so, and now we're $5,500 into it, and... You're doing it. Yeah, we're doing it. Yeah. Think about the technology we use every day. The TV to watch our favorite movies, a computer to play games and check our email, a refrigerator to keep our foods fresh, a lamp next to which we read a book, and many more. One thing all of these items have in common is they use electrical energy to work. The idea and dreaming big like actually started making it a reality. What gave you um, like the tools that you needed to, to do it? I'm thinking of like Carolyn came or like some of those kind of things. Like what do you? Um, so when we started brainstorming about all that and what we should do to get money for the solar panels, I think we all just threw out a bunch of ideas. I remember when we first started researching, we think we realized pretty quickly that renewable energy as a whole was going to be a lot bigger than we wanted to do. So we decided to just focus on solar energy. So then once we had the idea of the solar panels on the school, we started looking more into what it would be like to get a solar panel for our school. You know that 93% of the energy used in the United States comes from non-renewable sources. Businesses, homes, and schools use tons of energy each year. This energy can come from two different sources non-renewable energy like gases and oil, and renewable energy like sun and wind. Renewable resources can be replenished naturally while non-renewable resources cannot. We had to gain some tools because $7,000 is a lot of money and I've never raised that much money and I don't think any of you have either. We needed to try to figure out how do we do this in, in a good way. When the girl from, woman from the nonprofit organization came, she told us, like, even before going to the businesses, sending them a letter and how to draft it. And I felt like that helped me a lot, you know, just for the fundraising thing. Um, a woman from a nonprofit organization came and helped us um, ask for a gift of money or for someone to match a donation that another company already had donated to us. So yeah. I thought that was really helpful. Yeah. Was there anything in, in particular that she taught you that helped in the process of raising the funds? Um, just how to ask for it, like, you don't say, can we have this money? You ask nicely, like, can we have this gift or will you like to donate to our cause? Mm -hmm. I felt more prepared for to face, like, the other things that would, like, come ahead. And then, then I knew more about what I was going to do and then I was more on the road, eyes on the road. Non-renewable sources effectively give us energy, but can be problematic for a number of reasons. First, we will not always be able to acquire non-renewable sources. Second, over half of the non-renewable resources used in the United States come from foreign countries and might not always be available. Third, almost 80% of the carbon emissions that pollute our air come from non-renewable energy. My mom was like, are you sure you're gonna be able to do this? And then like I'd go home and I'd be like, oh yeah, because we got like this amount of money. And then like we did the chart and then it became more real because everything started filling up and it's like almost there. And it was a lot realer than it was when we started. My parents were really questioning on how and why we were getting solar panels. Like so we could have like we could be doing other things with all this money that we were getting. And I remember a few people just saying that we weren't going to be able to do it and it wasn't going to happen. And I just felt like we really could do it when they said that. And it just, I don't know, made it feel even better. The news has shown that getting non-renewable resources can be dangerous for our environment, like the oil spill in the Gulf or the coal mining disasters. Renewable energy is always available wherever you are and is safe. People all over the world are starting to use renewable energy more frequently. This is how we, a group of 8th grade girls from Madison, Wisconsin, decided to join the cause. This is our journey to make a difference in our school, community, and world by going green with renewable energy. We had this big goal, 
and we've done a lot to try to reach that goal. I think that there's even more that we've kind of put in, like lumped in with that goal, and our goals become bigger and bigger like every day. We've, we, we've let other people know about that this kind of stuff actually can be done, and then they'll, that the, then they might look into doing something like that for their schools. So that's our journey so far. We have a long way to go, but we're excited about what we've begun. And now we challenge you. Learn more about energy, find out how much energy your home, school, or business uses. Where does your energy come from? Non-renewable resources? How about making a change? Starting a journey to renewable energy. We're doing it, you can too. Together we can be part of the generation that makes a change. I was really, really happy. It felt just like the first time, well, not the first time, but when I could just go around and tell people we won this challenge and we did it and not exactly like brag, but just tell them that like it wasn't impossible and we, we could do it. Oh, awesome. It was just amazing. It was like, I just it like did something that I couldn't have known I could do. I mean, like, it was just the awesomest feeling in the world. Like you just climbed Mount Everest or something like that. It was just awesome. <laughs> amazing. Um, like literally amazing. I felt like I had gotten an A on a test or something, but more like I had scored the bonus question. I was amazingly proud of our team and what we had done and how we'd managed to achieve everything that we wanted to achieve and how we'd been able to work together as a team the whole time. I was really proud and really amazed that we could do something so big. I felt amazing. It was just so cool that all our teamwork and hard work really paid off. I felt awesome. I mean, we you got the feeling that we actually did it and that you know, we we pulled through and it happened. Since I was at home after the fish fry, Ariel called me up and I thought something was wrong, but then she told me that we had won the eco challenge and I started screaming like really really loud. And then I was like jumping up and down and I was really, really happy because nothing like that had ever happened to me before. And it was like the first time exciting news had come through the phone. So it made me really, really happy.